So we got the FX Dream Tac Compact here. Um, so this time I'm not going to start the tuning video with the gun detuned. I'm actually have it completely tuned all the way as max as high as it can go. Because a lot of y'all are saying that you can't get the right velocities out of the gun. Well, let me give you a little teaser here. and four feet per second yes! how did I do that ah that was just a little trick that was actually 12 grain GTOs <laughs> so just to start off um, a little misconception is that you're gonna get still amazingly high speeds with this gun this gun only has a 320 millimeter barrel so that's about half almost half the length if uh, just a little bit over half the length of the normal barrel that's on this gun. So with that, it really drops your velocities. I've got this gun tuned as pretty much as hot as it will go, and it doesn't have the power plenum on it, or the Dreamline plenum on it, so it might shoot a little bit faster with the plenum, but here, let me try an 18 grain JSB. Let's try a hybrid slug. So this is a fresh sleeve. I'll show y'all everything so there's no misconceptions. I'll try to cheat y'all out of the video. Here's the, here's the slug right here. Seven ninety three. Let's see if we can get that over eight hundred. Let's take just another shot. All right, that, there it is. That should go on lower. I might be falling off my tank. I sure am. And again, this is such a small tank. And you're only supposed to go to uh, 220, maybe 230 at the max. I would say 220 would be safe. You run out your shots really fast. All right, there we go. Seven ninety one. Seven eighty seven. So again, that shows you that really this gun is not made as a slug gun with it being compact like this. Now, obviously, the Dream Tac full size, the regular one, can easily shoot slugs. That's no problem. It can shoot eighteen grain. It can shoot sixteen grain. It can shoot pretty much anything you want, except for maybe some of the really heavier slugs like thirty four grain, twenty two caliber. And again, I, I forgot to mention this is a twenty two caliber setup. Uh, just to, so I can shoot the hybrids. You might have already figured that out. Um, anyways, um, this gun is just, it's just not a high power gun. It's made to be compact. It's made to be accurate and compact. Um, it's, it's not one of these power hung guns. It's, it's not an impact. It's not a full dreamline. It's not a crown. It's not anything like that. It's, it's a compact gun. It's made to be short. It's made to be compact. It's made to get a very specific job done, which is to be in small, tight areas and be able to swing the gun around, like inside of a barn, pesting and stuff like that. It's not your 100 yard bench gun. So with that said, I'm gonna show you how to tune the gun now. I just wanna get that point across that there's been a lot of comments about asking about shooting the hybrids out of it. And like I said, the hybrids still shoot. It, I mean, it's it, it is a 22 grain this is a 22 grain slug and then 22 caliber shooting 790 feet per second or the 18 grain pellet shooting 864 so that shows you right there just, just the weight difference that when you've got such a short barrel what it can do now later I will have a video 
uh, about the Dreamline Power Plenum, and I will do a compact version with the Power Plenum as well, or I call it the Power Plenum, it's the Dreamline Plenum, Plenum Extension. Um, I will have a video showcasing all that, so at that time, you'll see the results of that. Um, but for now, this is just the just the basic green tack compact, really how it is. And 22 caliber, 25 gives the same results in 25. The, it, it's not going to be some supersonic speeds or anything like that. It's a compact gun, so um, it is what it is. It's a very niche gun. It's uh, it, it's it's not like once again, it's not your hundred yard bench rest gun. With that being said, I'm going to show you how to actually tune it now. Uh, so we're going to cut a little bit in the video. I'm going to cut back to it being completely detuned, like we started the last tuning video, and we're going to go from there. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and tune the gun. So the very first thing we're going to do, obviously, um, is turn your transfer port setting. There's no point in shooting it on low when we know that's not going to give enough air. So we're going to go ahead and turn that to 177, or yeah, the 17722 setting. Um, if you want a little bit more power, you can get that with the 2530, but we'll save that until after the tune is done uh, in case you want to use a heavier pellet. So uh, now that we've got that done, the next thing will be to turn the wheel to max. You always want to start your tune at max, that way uh, if you want to turn down, you can, uh, but you're, you're always getting your max performance out of your hammer. The other thing will be your regulator. Um, for the compact senses, such a short barrel, you're going to want that regulator around probably what 150 or so. Uh, it does have an amp regulator, so it can handle up to 170, no problem. We're going to go ahead and put it at 150 though. As you're turning up, or you're turning clockwise, uh, you, you don't have to take any dry fire shots or anything. You can actually watch the gauge move. And be sure to tap on the gauge every once in a while to make sure that's properly set. Alrighty. There we go. We're at 150, so go ahead and get my 10 of 16s. Since that's what we're tuning this gun to, 16, so it is a lighter pellet, but it's not that much lighter. It just helps with the speed with such a short barrel. And first shot, 797, not too bad. But the thing is, it's it's on the hammer right now. We've already got our max setting here. I'll, I'll go ahead and show. If we move up to 2530, it's probably not going to make that big of a difference. Actually shot slower. That means that we're clearly not pushing enough air out of that turning support. Uh, so, the way to adjust your hammer is the slide bar right here. It's just like the uh, the crown and the impact. And this is only for a tactical and uh, the the light series. So, so Dream Tac, Dream Light, and Dream Pup are the three Dream Lines that have this. The the Dream Line Classic, as you can tell in my other video, it has a adjuster in the back here. Um, so basically what you're going to do to, uh, to tighten it or to screw in the screw uh, to increase the tension, uh, the, the easiest way to remember is you're going to move the Allen key from the top of the action down to the bottom. If you're to loosen it, you'd go from the bottom to the top. It's basically just righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Just an easier way to remember that you don't have to remember which way you're turning the screw. Just remember you're moving the Allen from, from top to bottom. And it's going to take a little bit, so I'm going to fast forward. So, we only got a little bit of play, well, it's actually a good portion of play still left in there. We're going to go ahead and take a shot just to see. Eight forty-eight. We're almost there. Let's see what the twenty-five thirty setting does. Eight fifty. So that shows you right now. Now that now that's equaling out, you can truly tell that the hammer was the issue. 
Now that we're adding more hammer spring tension, it's able to open that valve longer and let more volume of air through. And that's what your transfer port setting is uh, relating to, is the volume of air that is exiting the barrel. Your regulator is what determines the pressure of the air, and your hammer spring tensioner or the hammer spring adjuster is how hard the hammer is striking your valve to allow a certain uh, amount of volume of that air out to so that it can access the transfer port. So be sure the gun's not cocked, obviously, um, and we're going to keep adjusting right here. All right, so we pretty much got this maxed out now. It's not moving, yet I can still freely rotate my wheel. Eight fifty-five. We're just about there. Let's try it on the twenty-five thirty set. We're gonna try to get these sixteens to shoot about eight eighty. Eight sixty-three. Still not allowing enough air in. Let me do some more adjustment. I'm going to do just a couple turns. Actually, I'm going to do three. There we go. Let's try it on the 25-30 setting. 862. 861. So it's super consistent right now. Um, I will go ahead and say this is kind of like the bottom of the range you want to be at. Uh, 860 to 880 is about the range that's recommended. Um, so we can easily get the 880 now that we know that our hammer spring and our valve is set up properly. In fact, I'm going to switch this back to 17722. I'm going to take the reg up to. Oh, wrong gauge. Oh, I'm also falling off the tank. Let me add some air. Take it up to about 160. Eight seventy. Eight sixty eight. That's really only about a hundred and fifty five. Okay, so that didn't change anything actually. I just duplicated 8.7. I just went for dupe two. <laughs> Three shots in a row. All right, definitely gonna change it now. I'm gonna take up the 25.30 setting, see what we get here. There's 8.83 right there. Uh, we're gonna try to get 8.80s on the 17722 setting though. We got some play still left here. So, do three turns. Let's try this again. See if that increased. 868. 870. Okay, so actually I'm gonna come off of the hammer spring adjuster. Those three turns. Because it did not have any effect on the velocity at all. And because it didn't have any effect on the velocity, that means that there is too much hammer spring tension. Well, not quite too much yet, but it's getting to the point where it's too much. It's, it's more hammer spring tension than the pressure is uh, requiring uh, in order to open the valve. So it's unnecessary and uh, it, too much hammer spring tension can ruin harmonics. It can cause do uh, hammer double bounce. Uh, it can cause... Um, too much air to be let, too much volume of air to be let out uh, versus the pressure. There's, there's a lot of different things that can happen, so we're going to uh, keep keep that turned down there. Um, I'm just going to turn up a little bit more on the regulator. 
I keep looking at the wrong gauge. I forgot the top of my gauge last time, so I don't think I was at a true 160. I kind of said at 165 this time. That's kind of pushing that. That's right there to the brim with amp. I, I, I always recommend staying five bar below the top of a regulator. There's your 880 right there on the 17722 setting. Let's push to 2530. I bet it'll be the 890s, maybe even 900. 884. Must not have enough hammer spring tension now for that high of pressure. Let me go ahead and increase it a little bit. I'm going to do two turns. Eight ninety six. Let's do one more turn. Oh, it dropped. I'm going to come off of it. Oh, I'm falling off the tank. That makes sense. Well, I hope I didn't just mess my settings up with that. 891. Go back in this two screws to see if we can get 900. Oh, so close, 899. Let's see if that was just a low shot. 898. Go a little bit more, about half a turn on the hammer spring adjuster. 891. 895. Top it off in there just to be sure that I don't fall off. Duplicate. Come off just a little bit more. See if that's the direction we need to go. 896 duplicate two. You know, I'm just gonna be happy. I'm just gonna stay happy with the high 890s. Switch back down to the 17722. Eight seventy nine, eight eighty one, eight seventy two. That was a bit of a low shot. Eighty four. See a little bit of erratic, so I'm gonna actually back off my hammer spring a little bit. Seventy four, eight seventy four duplicate. Okay, so obviously I just had a little bit too much hammer spring tension for this lower valve. Eight seventy two, eight eighty one. Duplicate. Eight eighty. Ah, eight sixty seven. And I'm ten bars off the rig. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and lower the pressure back down. Let me get these. Uh, I'm gonna get them shooting right around eight sixty to eight seventy. dry fire to exchange the regulator, cycle the regulator I should say. Just 
a hair over the 150 line, probably like 155. Eight fifty eight for a shot. Eight sixty three. Just for a little bit more proof, I'll keep shooting. Eight sixty five. Eight sixty three. Eight sixty two. So that's showing you right there that the gun's in a good balance. Uh, basically, the, the, the moral of the story right here is that you've got to have an equal tune between your three. You, you've, got your, you've got your valve adjuster, you've got your hammer spring adjuster, and then you've got your regulator over here. So those three together, um, that's really going to get you your perfect harmony. It's not harmonics, but it's a harmony between the three. As in, you've got to have your valve open at the right setting the right size. Uh, you don't want too much air going in. You don't want too little air going in. Um, it's not a bad thing to have too much air going in down your barrel. Uh, as I mean, yeah, as, as long as your, consistencies are, your, your consistency is okay. If, you, if, if you're measuring your, your speeds and they're staying consistent, then it's okay to use a, a, a larger open port. Um, then, obviously, you want your regulator around a uh, um, certain settings especially like where it's set up from the factory uh, if you want to go higher you can go higher if you want to go lower you can go lower it's there's something there, there's not really preset um, uh, regular settings uh, for different speeds or different ammos and stuff like that you can it's just something you got to play with on your own uh, like I said for this setup it was about 150 155 for the 16 grain uh, JSBs uh, pellets in order to be going the 860s. Um, you can't really get anything more out of your hammer spring adjuster, and that's all your hammer spring adjuster to do is that's kind of your uh, kind of your fine tune. This is an impact. You don't have your valve adjuster, so you can't determine how far your valve opens. So that's what your hammer is doing uh, on this gun. Uh, so it's just a little bit different than the impact, and that's why this gun is uh, not two thousand dollars. <laughs> Alrighty, so. There you have it, there's the Dream Tactical Compact Tune. Uh, this gun will be, uh, or not this gun in particular, but I will be doing a video in the future with a regular Dream, uh, whether it's a Dreamline, Dream Tactical, something of the sort, with the power, or, or the Dreamline plenum added to it. And also I will be doing a tactical video with a plenum added to it. So uh, keep your lookout for that if you're interested in that. Um, but as far as it goes, this is how it comes from the factory. and is tuned right now. Here, I'll go through a couple more pellets just to show. Uh, I'll start with heavy and go light. So, it's not the heaviest, but the FX slugs, uh, the, the hybrid slugs, they're going to go slowest. They're going to go a lot slower than pellets are. Slugs have a lot more drag, so their current settings. I'm setting them at 737. It's not really fast enough for slugs, uh, they need to be cranked up, so if you're going to shoot slugs through the scene, you really need to crank up your settings, you're probably still not going to get, you're probably maxing out around 860 or so, uh, it's just, it's, it's not a slug gun, it's, uh, it's a short compact gun that's made for close quarters and short range engagements, honestly. Um, with the plenum? Uh, it probably will be able to reach uh, the correct velocity. It'll probably be able to get these slugs to the 900s uh, maxed out. Um, but until then, I would not recommend it on the uh, on your regular compact, especially because this gun only has a 320 millimeter barrel, as mentioned before. And that's just so short of a barrel. You're probably not even getting accuracy with slugs with that short of a barrel. So let's set those aside, um, just for giggles. Got some uh, 25 grain. Oh, actually. Here, I'll break out the big ones. I got got some old school, some JSB Beast, 30 or 33.956 grain. So basically, 34 grain, 22 caliber. Hope it feeds well. <laughs> 638. That wasn't really a surprise. The pellet's just way too heavy. So let's try the monsters. 
Back to the two, back to the monsters, 25 grain monsters. Seven thirty. Yeah, that's just about around the range of the uh, the slugs were. All right, so then we've got our eighteen grain. I'll show, um, show the lid for all of them. Eighteen grain JSB. Eight twenty one. Not too bad. I'm gonna try this out. Try it on the twenty five thirty setting. See if it shoots any faster. Yeah, same speed. All right, so that was your 18 grain. We've already shot the 16 grains. Got some uh, Express, some Jumbo Express, 22 caliber, 14 grain, 22 caliber, Force. There you go. There's your 880 or 878. Close enough. Let's try it on the 25. Oh, that's that's low. 25.30 setting. 8.90. Back to the 177s. Alright, 8.60. 860. Falling off the tank. So as you can tell, there's uh, there's not that many shots in this gun, so just it's a compact gun for made for a couple shots. Be ready to refill if you're going to be shooting for a lot. Alright, last but not least, get the lead out. Predator GTO. It's what we shot at 1000 feet per second in the beginning of the video. Obviously not doing that anymore. But 943, not too bad. I, I highly, highly doubt they are accurate at the speed. Oh, that was low. <laughs> 650 or 649. Okay, 972. So we got 972. 940. So we're going to do one more shot, or maybe a couple more shots, with the 16 grain, just to refresh your memory. 859, 859 duplicate. So that's a good note to end on right there. Um, the gun's tuned, now you know how to do it, now you can do it yourself. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to help out. Uh, the Dreamline Plenum is coming out. Uh, well, it is out. It's, it's in the markets and stuff like that. Uh, I will have it available very soon, uh, hopefully. Uh, but you can definitely reach out to, to any of your major dealers, uh, your air gun dealers, your FX dealers throughout the nation, and they'll have it as well. Um, I, I'm doing it more so for installation. I don't sell them directly to customers. I do installation. Um, but as far as that goes, Reach out to your major FX dealers. Uh, they, they they do installations as well. They sell the plums. Um, all of our FX dealers are wonderful, and um, always give them the best business. But uh, anyways, Dreamline Compact, Tactical, Compact, Tune. <laughs> there we go. All right. Thanks for watching. And like I said, uh, drop a comment, uh, hit the like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoy it.